Hey guys, today we want to talk to you about multi-room speakers. So I got a lot of different things to choose from here. Um, what I want to do is help you narrow down your selection. So let's start. Uh, here I have a UE Mega Boom. This guy is representing Bluetooth speakers. Um, anytime you take a Bluetooth speaker and you waterproof it, you're going to lose sound quality. Um, also, the only way you can connect to these guys is through Bluetooth, so it means you have to have your phone with you. I would personally take these off the table unless you're looking for something really portable. You know, if, if you want to go ride your bike around town, go look at UE. Um, if you're going to go camping, throw this guy in a river, UE is the way to go. Outside of that, uh, really multi-room speakers are going to be your Libertone, your Sonos, and your Bose. Um, and we'll throw Samsung into running as well. So, uh, sound quality on the table. Libertone is going to win hands down on sound quality for its size. The Play 5 is just larger. Um, same good sound quality, same thing with the Sound Touch 30. Um, the only one that I would take off of the table due to sound quality would be the Samsung Radiant series. Uh, we've tested the R3 and the R5 here, and it just leaves a lot to be desired on sound quality as well as volume. So I would pull this guy off the table. Um, so for multi-room, uh, one thing that's going to be important is how are you going to use the speaker? Are you wanting one speaker that can be portable for multiple rooms, or are you wanting to put a single set of speakers in each different room and have different sound spaces? Uh, going to be important. So let's start. Uh, Sonos and Bose all have cords. So you have to plug these guys into a 110 outlet. It definitely limits how far away you can be from an outlet, uh, which is going to determine where you can place it in a room may or may not be a factor for you. Uh, I just know in my house, everywhere I have a shelf, I do not have a outlet nearby. Um, so the only one here on the table that is truly wireless is the Libertone speakers. Uh, these guys offer a 10 hour battery life on full blast. Uh, so they're, they have a really substantial battery life. Next, let's go into the apps. So Sonos has a, a really good app, really intuitive. They guide you through on your initial setup uh, definitely the easiest to get set up. Um, downside of the Sonos app, you have to play music from in their app. What does that mean? You can't play from Pandora, you can't play from uh, Spotify, things like that without going into the Sonos app, opening up their version of Pandora or Spotify, uh, which is a definitely a skinny down version, so you lose some of the native functionality. Bose and Libertone both allow you to stream straight from your favorite music players, so now we've narrowed it down one more parameter. If the app portion is important to you, Bose and, and Libertone are going to be the ones that you want to consider. So the Bose app, a, a little less intuitive, but also still very good, uh, will allow you to stream straight from things like Spotify, Pandora. Um, the Bose speakers and the Libertone speakers also both allow you to uh, stream from either Wi-Fi, which is great, or Bluetooth. So something I found when my friends come over to the house, they want to stream some music, it's really a pain to get them to download the app and get on the Wi-Fi network to be able to stream to the speakers. So both Libertone and Bose offer Bluetooth streaming. So you can hook up to these guys straight from Bluetooth. Um, last connection wins. So if I'm streaming from Wi-Fi, my friend connects to it through Bluetooth, he's going to have control of the speaker. So it's really simple to use. Um, the Libertone speakers, I like just because of how portable they are. Um, these Bose speakers are meant to sit on a shelf, on a table, in a corner of your room, somewhere near an outlet. The Libertone speakers are meant to be able to be very portable. They have an awesome handle to carry them around um, with the battery life. Um, and they have different color uh, covers. You can see this one here is clearly my girlfriend's purple speaker, uh, where this one came out of my office. Um, these guys play in 360 degree sound, which means they're not directional. So these, do, these speakers from Bose would need to be facing straight at you, whereas the Libertone speaker can be anywhere in the room. You put two of these guys together in the same room, and it's literally like you're wearing earphones. So if you want to bring your speakers out and away from the walls, this is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, if you're fine with a bookshelf, uh, consider Bose as well. I would recommend the Libertone, my personal favorite. If you're interested in them, go check them out, Libertone.com. I'll post a link in the description below this video, make it easy for you guys. So hopefully this helps kind of weed out some of the competition in the multi-room speakers. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.